All right, everyone, let's solve the problem. So we have a Carnot refrigerator. We sketch it. And then it is working in a room which uh, the temperature is 25 degrees C. So it is um, dumping its heat to the room which is at 25 degrees C, which also means 298 Kelvin. So to, for refrigerator to work, it needs a, an input, work input. So there has to be a work input. And this is given to us. We are given that this is 500 watts, meaning 0.5 kilowatts. So where does the refrigerator get its heat? It gets it from the refrigerated space, right? The freezer. It needs to get the energy from the refrigerated space, your freezer in the refrigerator and the, uh, the question asks is find the temperature of the refrigerated space and the rate of heat removal right and this is qh so the heat interaction between the high temperature reservoir and the device cyclic device is symboled with Q with a subscript H, meaning high temperature source, okay? And then this one is the heat interaction between the low temperature environment and the device, cyclic device, therefore it has the subscript L. So, so the first thing is we need to find uh, to be able to find this heat interaction, we need to find the, um, we need to go from the COP term because the COP term, the, which one is, stands for coefficient of performance. Remember to calculate the efficiency of refrigerator and heat pump. We will use COP term, coefficient of performance, because COP can get volumes bigger than one. In fact, higher the volume of the COP, the more efficient the device is. So, uh, COP is therefore given to us here, it says 4.5. And since this is given for this refrigerator, what I can do, use this COP to calculate the heat interaction because we know the formula for the COP for a refrigerator and to remember the COP belongs to the refrigerator put a subscript R and now let's calculate it All right, so COP of a ref, uh oh, COP, COP of a refrigerator is equal to QL over W in or power that is put in so when i put this dot it means the rate right power so from here this is 4.5 i'm trying to figure this out and this was already given to us as 0.5 kilowatts and you can easily calculate the rate of heat interaction between the refrigerated space and the refrigerator which is 4.5 times 0.5, which is equal to 2.25 kilowatts. Okay. 
The next thing, uh, the question is asking, find the temperature of the refrigerated space. And since we know this is a Carnot refrigerator, we know there is a relationship between the temperatures and heat interactions. And that equation I can use to figure out uh, what, the, what the temperature is. Okay, so I know for Carnot devices, QH over QL is related to the ratio of the temperatures of the high temperature reservoir over the low temperature reservoir. So this one is I'm trying to figure out. This one I know. Um, this one I just calculated and I can also calculate this one. Oh, it is already given to us, right? It is already given. It is already given. Oh, no, it's not. So we can calculate this one. How? We can calculate QH is actually equal to W power in plus QL. So if you don't know this equation and you need to memorize it, you need to remember this. Okay, so you have your refrigerator, heat comes in and goes to out and work input. Okay, so this is a closed system overall, refrigerator. Whatever gets in has to get out. So that means QL getting in plus W getting in. So work input plus the heat input has to be equal to whatever getting out because we know it from the energy balance, right? Energy balance is says whatever energy is getting in has to be equal to the energy getting out. Therefore, this plus that has to be equal to that. So you don't need to memorize it. And from here, and from here, what you can do is now you can calculate QH. So this is That gives us QH to be 2.75 kilowatts. Now we know this one. Now I can calculate that one. And let's do that. Okay, so we found the temperature of the refrigerated space. So we are done with the problem. If you guys have any questions, always you can ask me and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.